whenever you're about to begin learning something new with drawing and artwork especially it's good to take stock of where you are before you begin learning so um, what I'm doing here is I'm drawing a box the way that I remember doing it when I first started drawing in undergrad I had been kind of drawing on my own for a while. I hadn't had much instruction at that point. So I just did the best that I could. And that's what that's what I would like you to do this week. Um, you're going to have to draw out four different drawings, but we'll get to that later. You can see what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of naturally drawing the box that I see in front of me, um, adding some shading where I see it, um, you know, doing the lines that as best as I can and kind of just creating a naturally intuitively instinctively drawn box it's a bit difficult to do this once you've been trained but um, because you know what you should be doing but that doesn't really matter you just draw it to the best of your ability at the current time because there's always room for improvement I remember that I used to blend a lot I used to um, draw along the edges um, and I used to go for a lot of detail because I thought that was incredibly important with drawing so you don't necessarily have to draw a box this week for your assessment um, but there are some other things that um, I think you should do if you're about to uh, reassess your drawing I think you should draw a person um, draw a room you should draw an exterior space or a landscape your yard, whatever, and you should draw an object. It could be your favorite object, an object you don't really care about, just any kind of object. Um, and what this is going to do is establish your baseline um, and give you something to look back on so that you know you've improved. 